This is the monitor setup for 9000 series brakes. So under implement cedar accessories brake control, open up the tab that has brake control. If it is not enabled, enable it. Once you have that enabled, below the brake control you'll see reverse switch. Make sure that you go in and also enable that for all of the surge brakes. The reverse override is in the monitor. Brake on alert level indicates the pressure that you want to receive an alarm when you have residual pressure at the brake block. That can be set higher or lower to your desired level. The default is 20 PSI. Sensor maximum pressure indicates the maximum pressure that the transducer in the brake block will read. And then the sensor minimum voltage and maximum voltage are factory default settings. Once this is set up, you can touch on the running man to go back to your main screen. And if your cedar controller is not open, open it up, slide it across to the large side of the screen. On the bottom, you'll see one of four or maybe one of three or one of two. Scroll up until you find your brake control. So there'll be two halves to that brake control screen now. The right hand, that's dedicated to the reverse switch. So in the off state, normal operating state, there'll be a circle with a line, meaning no backing up. To back up, touch on that button. It'll turn to a red background and the circle with a line through will disappear. Then you'll be able to actually back the machine up without the brakes applying. On the left hand side of the screen, there's a circle with an exclamation point and then three more lines on each side. So when it is white, it's indicating there's no pressure reading at the transducer. When the circle turns yellow and one of the lines on each side is yellow, that's indicating you have 20 PSI. Next, whenever you reach 500 PSI, you'll get an orange line outside of the yellow. And then at 1250 PSI, that will change to a red line on the outside of the yellow and orange. This indicates you've reached 1250 PSI of pressure going to the brake calipers. The brakes are tied into the Apollo system through the auxiliary harness. That new harness part number is 3152-73 and what that does is from the auxiliary plug on the main CM40 or CM41 there's harnesses that run to the brake block. There's two connections. There's a connection to the transducer to send pressure to the monitor and there's also connection to the solenoid to allow it to switch so that the oil can bypass and you're allowed to back up the machine without the brakes engaging. This diagram shows the breakdown of the brake block. So the solenoid valve up in the top left, this is the valve allowing you to reverse and you do manually operate that during the bleed procedure. To the right of that you'll see the needle valve that is one of the connections for the bleed kit and down at the bottom left the needle valve p-trap located at the front axle that is the other location where the bleed kit is tied into the system.
Other things of note here we're going to look at is simply the minimum braking pressure. So at the top, just to the right of the reservoir, sequence valve sets the minimum braking pressure. That's factory set to 700 PSI. So even though the gauge may indicate you're at 500, braking does not actually occur till 700 PSI when this valve allows oil through to the calipers. There are also a number of relief valves in here. Uh, 2250 is the maximum braking pressure. There are other safety features built in. Um, a sequence valve for emergency braking when it gets above that. It'll bypass at 2800. See down in the bottom center of the screen. And then also there's a 3000 PSI relief valve on the right. Um, which is an overall protection that does not allow more than 3,000 PSI no matter how how hard the brakes come on it'll relieve at 3,000 PSI to protect the, the system. A number of the other things are used for the bleeding which is in, included in your service school handout all that documentation, um, how to bleed the brakes, and the reasons the troubleshooting guide as well is also a good reference. Sends you in the right direction to determine where to go when you have certain problems in the braking system.